Hey guys, how we doing? Good morning, everybody. Joe here. Kevin. All right, so we've both never seen The Devil Wears Prada. Yeah. Um, I've heard like great things about it. That's the thing, right? It's, it, when it came out, and it's, what is it, like 10 or 15 years now? 2006. Oh, so coming up on 20 years. Yeah. Um, I, I, as, a, as, you know, as a kid, right, um, the title, The Devil Wears Prada, does not sound like something when I was in, in my youth, like a hard pass. I've but, been seeing like the DVD for it, like. My mom rented it from Blockbuster when I was a kid, but I didn't watch it. I wanted right. something like more actiony. Yeah, yeah that that it, it definitely wasn't my genre of movie yeah. at the time. But like you said, every person that I've known that's ever it was seen huge. it, it was huge. And every I've never heard anybody say a bad thing about this movie. Yeah, at all. I'm pretty sure it's a comedy. I, th- um, I think so. Well, okay. So I this is kind of this year, 2006, is kind of like a. a, a uh, important milestone for me because uh, that was the first year that I started watching the Oscars. Sure. And was this nominated for something? I think Meryl Streep was nominated. Uh, well, she's Meryl Streep's always nominated. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> the rest of it, I'm not sure about. But right. anyways, I remember that was The Departed year. Okay. And yeah. I had seen The Departed as a kid, probably way too young. Um, That's not a kid movie. It, it, it's really not. But, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you're alone at home and right. mom's working late, it's like, oh, The Departed's on TV. Yeah. I, I had out. HBO when I was little. I'd, yeah. I definitely watched things when mom was working that I should so, have. I remember seeing this and then making jokes about it at the Oscars. Mm-hmm. Still stick with me. And I this is the same year that Will Ferrell and Jack Black did their famous musical okay. the Oscars, you know, yeah. the Dale Taco thing. Sure, sure. Anyways, but uh, that's my connection to this movie as uh, kind of related around that year and that Oscars year. So I'm assuming it's going to be really good if it got nominated for a couple Oscars. Sure. Yeah, I, I know. I, I have no connection to the movie yeah. other than the fact I haven't watched it. I've been told forever that I need to. And I've always been like, yeah, it sounds great. And just never done it. Yeah. Um, and I know it's we Meryl Streep and, and and Anne Hathaway, and I know nothing else about this movie. Me neither. And we we all have movies like that where it's like oh, I'll get around to it. No, I've got yeah. I've got a pile of them. Yeah. Um, I'm really bad about rewatching movies that I love. You yeah, know, me too. I, I'm like I you know I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna have dinner. I'm gonna watch a movie while I while I you know, you know pay bills or whatever. Sure. And it's like I, I just want something on in the background, so I need something that I I, I know I like and trust that I like. Exactly. So so I'm I'm sometimes bad about going back and seeing movies I should have seen. Yeah. All right. We do want to go ahead and uh, welcome Hayden Lux, Emily Douglas Selby, Robert Boschenek, Jamie Morgan, and Lauren McDonald, our Patreon group. Thank you so much, guys. We're really happy here with us. Yes, we are. And if you guys are watching us on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you don't mind the like button for us, leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. Yeah, if you'd like to see a full length reaction to this and everything else we've watched or are watching, please check out a link in the description below to our Patreon page. We've got a whole lot of television series that we've watched and are currently mm-hmm. watching because that's really our biggest blind spot. Yeah. Um, it, you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service. You're only going to see and hear us on Patreon because of content, right? Yeah. The whole okay, so it's 20th Century Fox. <laughs> R.I.P., man. It's like 20th Century Studios. Right, Disney yeah. owns it. Disney, yeah, Disney owns all their products. When I was a kid, this is my favorite intro for a movie. It's for lovely. sure. It's so cool. Like, look yeah. at that intro. When I was little, it'll be like, are they going to turn it to 21st Century Fox yeah. after 2000? <laughs> I would associate it with Star Wars because, like, you sure. know, remember that? Yeah. The Lucasfilm pops up. I have no idea. I don't either. There's Anne Hathaway. I love Anne Hathaway. Has she been in anything, like, of uh, significance lately? I'm sure she has. She's, I, she's I always seen working. Her in a big movie right, in a yeah. while, yeah. Oh, Stanley Tucci. I love that guy. You like Stanley Tucci? Did you ever see Big Night? Big Night? No, I highly recommend. Ah, oh, Emily Blunt, the Tucci. So this is kind of an all-star cast here. Adrian Grenier. Oh, that's the. Um, oh yeah, it's familiar. I don't know who that is. Though. Entourage guy. Oh yeah, I was not an Entourage fan. Yeah. Ah, uh, the getting ready for work montage. I know, classic. This is also just like. This type of opening, it, it's really taking me back, man. Like, they used to sure. like do this. this a lot. Yeah. yeah. New York City, I'm assuming, is where we're at. I'm not sure. I didn't see enough of the city to know. Yeah, that's true. It could have been Chicago. It could have been anywhere. I just be assuming, oh, it's, it's like York, a building. It's a big city. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are they all going to the same place? <laughs> like, like uh, okay. So they're all getting in cabs and stuff. She's taking the subway. Okay, so she's, she's definitely, definitely not. not a, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So people getting in cabs and limos, and yeah. she's taking the subway. It's based on a book, too. Cool. You know, I feel like being based on a novel, not always, obviously, but oftentimes will add a lot of weight to a, to yeah. a screenplay. It's like, someone really thought this out when they wrote it. As long as you keep the bones of it. Keep the structure. For sure, yeah. right. I mean, obviously, there are, like, YA books that sure. have been turned into movies. It's like, okay. I hate that, honestly. Yeah. I'm not a big Hunter Games fan. Right. Yeah, right. Andrea Sachs? Yes? This is Emily Blunt. Human resources okay, certainly Emily has Blunt an odd there. sense of humor. <laughs> Follow me. So we need to find someone who can survive here. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. Who's Miranda? 
Oh my god, I will pretend you did not just ask. <laughs> you work a year for her and you can get a job at any magazine you want. A million girls would kill for this job. Aw, uh, remember when magazines were a thing? Yeah. <laughs> Runway is a fashion magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. What makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? Don't say something mean. <laughs> She's going to. Yeah. She's on her way. Tell everyone. Where's the two? Yeah, I love him. <laughs> that I <laughs> can't <laughs> <laughs> She's standing right there. Yeah. So I'm assuming that she's toxic, and so the whole workplace is like as a result. Yeah, I'm assuming this is Meryl Streep. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Of Meryl course, Street, right. Yeah. By the way, she's been nominated for something like 20 Oscars at this point. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, Any movie that comes out, like I know, like the Iron Lady wasn't great, but she was nominated for it. But she's, she, but she's always it. great. Yeah, Killed it as Margaret Thatcher. All right, imagine this kind of pressure. Her hairdo looks a lot like my mom's, and it's scaring me. Really? <laughs> Sorry, Miranda. Sorry, Miranda. Should we know who that is? I. She looks no. like a, she looks like a model. Yeah. Oh wow. That's oh, okay. That's one heck of a close up there. <laughs> yeah, that's a good intro for a character. An RSVP yes to the Michael Kors party. I want the driver to drop me off at nine thirty and pick me up at nine forty-five sharp. <laughs> Is it impossible to find a lovely, slender female paratrooper? No. Am I reaching for the stars? Oh my god. She's hopeless and totally well, wrong. Well, clearly, so. I'm going to have to do that myself, because the last two you sent me were completely inadequate, so... Yeah, so, kind of a monster. Yeah. I don't know. Are... Were magazine editors this powerful? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I guess, like, you could... You, you have a lot of sway over the public opinion. Yeah. I think I could do a good job as your assistant, and, um... Just say try to get into the industry. Basically, it's this or auto universe. So you don't read Runway? Uh, say you'll start. Yeah. <laughs> I'd never heard of me. No. And you have no style or sense of fashion. She looks nice. I think she looks fine. Yeah. Sure. No, no. That wasn't a question. <laughs> she is a monster, yeah. isn't she? I, I also um, won a national competition for college journalists with my series on the janitor's union, which exposed the That's exploitation all. of. The Just leave. This isn't the job for you. Go to Auto World. Yeah, no, Seriously, yeah. go to Auto World. Go to Auto World. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I don't fit in here. I am not skinny or glamorous. Uh, You're not she's skinny. She, Are you yeah. Kidding come me? on. I'm smart. I learn fast, and I will work all right, very. I got hard. the exclusive on the Cavalli for Gwyneth. Valtro. <laughs> yeah. Thank you oh for God. your time. Who is that sad little person? Oh my God. Are we doing a before and after piece I don't know about? Oh my God! Uh, the By the way, one. she's a 10. Yeah, Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Anne Hathaway beautiful. is quite lovely. <laughs> Even in Les Mis, I was like, ah, she's so pretty. <laughs> Ball head and all. Oh, it worked. Nice. Wait, you got a job at a fashion magazine? Oh, it's uh, Harry. Harry Crane from Mad Men. Yeah. Well, I bet a million girls would kill for that job. Yeah, great. The thing is, I'm not one of them. Well, look, you gotta start somewhere, right? That's a team from uh, Death Proof. She is from Death Proof, yeah. yeah. Is she? Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already have my dream job. You're on your corporate research. <laughs> <channel>. <laughs> Oh, you're right, my job sucks. <laughs> to jobs that pay the rent. To jobs yeah. that pay the rent. Job. Yeah, I'll drink that. Yeah. yeah. Come on, you're going to be answering phones and getting coffee. You need a ball gown for that? It seems like it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, they were all so critical. Yeah. Now get a pen and write this down. I want one no-foam skimmed latte with an extra shot and three drip coffees with room for milk. That's well, coffee, isn't it? Gonna yeah. Be hot anyways. Hello? Where are you? Oh, I'm almost there. Yeah. I had to do that. I had to get coffee when I was doing a PA, PA job. Yeah. It's the worst. Everybody wants coffee. And I, I have two yeah. hands. I hope you know that this is a very difficult job, mm -hmm. for which you are totally wrong. And if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. You're going to need thick skin to work in this awful yeah. place. I'm sure that's true to life. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Every time I see we watch a show or movie with abusive bosses, it's like, I couldn't do it. Yeah, it's triggering. Yeah. Sure, I go to all the shows and all the parties. I meet all of the designers. It's divine. I think she ends up taking her spot on that trip. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, because it seems like she's trying so hard to impress Meryl Streep. Yeah. Now, it is a mock-up of everything in the current issue. Mm -hmm. Jesus. And we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night. And she returns... Don't touch it. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a good delivery. Don't touch it. Um, you know, she is in a meeting. Can I please take a message? Uh huh. Okay. Can you please spell Gabbana? <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah. Gabbana. <laughs> I don't think I need these. Miranda hired me. She knows what I look like. Do you? Oh, 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 oh my God. Put the shoes on. <laughs> my name is Andy. Andrea, but uh, everybody calls me Andy. <laughs> that was good. And make sure we have Pier 59 at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And remind Jocelyn I need to see a few of those satchels that Mark is doing in the pony. I can't remember all this. No. To Marshall Yeh? Did he get, get him on the phone? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll be like, uh, can you say it one more time? I'd be recording everything, oh. Andrea. Did she change the shoes? No. Oh. Change the shoes. Yeah, those shoes are pretty bad. <laughs> they, they do they look, look bad. comfy. I have shoes that look like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They look comfy, but yeah. yeah. But I don't think you get to be comfy in this job. No. I tried to ask her. You but never ask Miranda anything, right? I will deal with all of this, and you will go to Kelvin Klein. What? Just wing it, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have some prior commitment? Some hideous skirt convention you have to go to? <laughs> Oh my god! I didn't know Emily Blunt could play awful this well. I, I feel like it'd be really fun. Oh, for sure. But I, I, I saw I, a I character for this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like when actors say they love playing villains, you know? It's like, I, just I love being bad when I can. Yeah, like, nobody wants to be James Bond. They want to be the Bond villain, you know? Right. My Zell, and she will want more Starbucks when she gets back. Hot to Starbucks. Can you just repeat that first? Hello? Right. This is stressful. Yeah, this is like making me uncomfortable. God. Oh, hi. Deal. I don't know why you don't know that, Andrea. Okay, are you ready? Oh, hi, hi. At least she knows her name. Yeah. I get 20 minutes for lunch and you get 15. When I come back, you can go. Okay. So whatever that works there is gorgeous, but really mean. <laughs> yeah. It's like mean girls. Yeah, I gotta. But fashion. Right. Fashion girls. And, and so far, no one to like root for except for her. Yeah. It's like there's no no one friendly at all. Corn chowder. Corn chowder. I think, I think Tucci's gonna be our hero yeah. here for cellulite is one of the main ingredients in corn chowder. <laughs> Why serve it there? <laughs> She's always 15 minutes early. Which means mm -hmm. you're already late. Come shoot. Yeah, the corn chowder did not look good. I take it back. It was a tiny lunch regardless, you yeah. know? It's like, give me a full ballerina skirt and a hint of saloon, and I'm on board. <laughs> La Croix from July. I thought that, but no, not with the right accessories. It should work. I have no talent for this. I, I don't know all. what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. Oh, don't laugh. Something funny? You're going to get decimated, don't you? Yeah. Don't you should it. not have laughed. No, 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 nothing's, you know, it's just the both those belts look exactly the same to me. Don't say that. Hey, me too. I know not to say hey, that. Hey, me too. In 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns, and then I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, wasn't it? I think we need a jacket here. There is a lot to know. Yeah. A little corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin, however. Yeah. <laughs> you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room. When you put it that way, all right, I get it. Yeah. I mean, I get they, they do take their job seriously. I don't want to yeah. knock fashion or anything right. like that. No, me neither. It's like when people like to say it's just a movie. It's like, well, it's not just a movie. It's not just it's a movie. It's yeah. a million moving pieces. <laughs> a lot of people's passion, even yeah. bad ones. Yeah. Yeah, even the, the worst movie is so much effort, you yeah. know? People spend on these insignificant, minute details, and for what? I think she's actually wrong here in her criticism. Yeah. It's their job. Yeah. Venting. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And that's fair, yeah. too. Because her boss is mean. <laughs> Everybody is. As I said, you think they actually eat grilled cheese? <laughs> yeah, 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 they don't. No, nobody in this movie is eating grilled cheese. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I can't let Miranda get to me. I won't. I agree with that. No. But I, I do get the idea that don't go into like this thing that this is their passion and what they're working on yeah. and kind of crap on it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's easy to crap on something. Exactly. Yeah. That, that you don't understand or it's sure. not something you care about, right? Get me de Marchelier. See, she's getting it down. She now, she knows, down yeah. now she knows how to do it, yeah. You know, my dad's coming in from Ohio. Yeah, we're going to go out to dinner. Mm -hmm. But she's so awful. You doing anything fun this weekend? Yes. I think she's going to wear her down. I do, too. She, they're just used to being abused, yeah. you know? And I'm sure it's a pretty great paycheck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, emails from you at your office at 2 a.m. 
Your pay is terrible. You don't get to write anything. Yeah, that's not fair. She needed a job. I swear, this is my break. This is my, my chance. This is my boss. <laughs> oh no. Hello, Miranda. My flight has been canceled. No. Get me to New York. Thank you. Yes, I need it tonight. Ow. I need it. No. Over here, honey. Hi, I'm trying to get a flight tonight for tonight. It looks like it hurt. <laughs> yeah. That was a great shot. Yeah, this is really cool. Nothing is flying out. Are they going to a Broadway show while she's trying to do this? There's no way. There's yeah. no way. No. I'm trying to get you a flight, but no one is flying out because of the weather. Please. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's like a hurricane outside. Get me home. What does she want you to do? Call the National Guard and have her airlifted out of there? Of course not. Could I do that? <laughs> I was wondering about that. Yeah. Everyone loved it, everyone. Except me, because sadly, I was not there. Miranda, I'm so sorry. What are you going to do? Can't move mountains. I, um, I thought you would be different. This wouldn't get to me because I would know how absurd this is. This, yeah. I really did everything I could think of. Uh, that's all. At what point do you just break and just tell her off? I don't think it's worth it. I think you just leave and don't go back. I would want to say something. But yeah. You're so out of touch with reality. This is the point where she said, I'm not going to let her get to me. And she clearly let her get yeah. to her there. It's just so absurd. Like, it's a yeah. hurricane outside. Like, what am I supposed to do? It's unacknowledged. She doesn't even say thank you. But if I do something wrong, she is vicious. Well, I thought she was firing her there. It sounded like she, I'm more disappointed than all the other girls I fire. No reading. Yeah. You have no idea how many legends have walked these halls. And what's worse, you don't care. So I think this is fair, what he's that saying. I really fair. do. He, he... And you want to know why she doesn't kiss you on the forehead and give you a gold star on your homework at the end of the day. This is like really high level. So that it, it, it is. No, it's like people right point. Exactly. People take it seriously. And I, I guess to a certain extent, like, you know, to the, demand this kind of excellence, you're not going to get the pat in the back. You're not right. going to get the niceness. There's nothing in this whole closet that'll fit a size six, I can guarantee you. But they're really hung up on her being yeah. large. Um, a poncho. You'll take what I give you and you'll like it. I have no insight to fashion, so I, you know. This is way over my head. Yeah. I'm a t-shirt, jeans, and Converse kind of guy. Yeah, it's my, yeah. It's my style. We have to get to the beauty department, and God knows how long that's going to take. <laughs> we should start wearing Dolce after this. Seriously. Yeah. Start looking our best. <laughs> right. Some Gucci slippers. <laughs> I spent $1,500 on a pair of tennis shoes this weekend. <laughs> Big poofy turtlenecks. Girl. From the moment I saw her, she was going to be a complete and utter disaster. Yeah. There you go. Made a big mistake. Huge. <laughs> Are you wearing the, sh the Chanel boots? Yeah, I am. You look good. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Winning her over. What? Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's you can little, tell a difference though. She always looks good. A little confidence whenever yeah, you for sure. dress the part, you know? That's great. It's like yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey Hepburn or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a nice yeah, transition. That's, cool. that was cool. yeah, that's really cool. She looks great. Yeah, she does. It's funny because she was beautiful always, right? Because obviously it's Anne Hathaway. Yeah. But you can really tell a difference when she was trying. This is so cool. This is yeah. a little montage. It is. Waiting for the change, waiting for the change. There it is. There it is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's fun. That's yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, no, 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 no. This bag is like $1,900. I cannot take this from you. <laughs> She's moving all of her stuff into it. <laughs> An accessory is merely a piece of iconography used to express individual life. I love that he knows this. Yeah, he's right, <laughs> he's too. Right, yeah. It's, uh, yep, the dragon oh, lady. Oh, Miranda. Let me talk to her. No, okay, I need to. The dragon lady. Give her her phone. Hi, Miranda. <sighs> <laughs> Absolutely. I don't believe in messing with people while they're trying to work. <laughs> I really don't. We made your boss mad, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. I couldn't afford an apartment in New York that's the size of that hallway. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no kidding. You know? <laughs> that's him right there. Oh, so. I wonder how many cameos in this movie that are just going right over our head. Yeah, <laughs> of, of people like, in fashion that we I don't know. I've yeah. a lot, but I have no idea who they are. There are people in concert, like, morons. Here's the yeah. list of people you saw and yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Come on. I'm working for Miranda Priestley now. You must be in desperate need of hard liquor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. You write for like every magazine I love. I actually, I reviewed your collection of essays for my college newspaper. Did you mention my good looks, my killer charm? At least mention his great hair. Yeah, great hair. <laughs> I'm working as Miranda Priestley's assistant. Oh, you're kidding. 
Well, that's too bad. That's ooh, never survived Miranda. Do you think he might be a romantic interest or a rival I, of some kind? I think a uh, romantic interest that might be gross. Right. <laughs> Don't meet your heroes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Emily? She's just not going to call her by her name, no. is she? I don't know if it's weird for Emily Blunt being like, what? <laughs> Did she say why? Yes. Yeah, she explained every detail of her decision making. And then we brushed each other's hair and gabbed about American Idol. I see your point. <laughs> <laughs> and she tells them what she thinks. Mike Tucci's suit there. Yeah. That's sick. She hates it. <laughs> <laughs> look, at that. Just look away. That was great. <laughs> Just go. I like the like disappointed look away there. Yeah. <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Her opinion is the only one that matters. Yeah, so I'm kind of getting that sense too, because yeah. that's how it gets presented in the magazine. Yeah. Fine. And Andrea, I would like you to deliver the book hey! to my home tonight. He's she's got her name, and she's and she's the one delivering the book now. Oh, and you know she called me Andrea. I mean, she didn't call me Emily, which is isn't that great? <laughs> you open the door and you walk across the foyer. You hang the dry cleaning in the closet across from the staircase. Oh, they're both across from the staircase. Oh, on the table with the flowers. Probably, probably not the small one. Right. I would say there. Yeah, it's, it's the most accessible. Space, yeah. To the left. The twins. It's like The Shining. I was literally just thinking that The Shining. Come and play with us, Andrea. Forever. <laughs> you can give the book to us. No, oh. you can't. It's okay. No, 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 we can't. No, 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 no. Right there. I would sit right there and leave. Emily does it all the time. She does. No, she doesn't. Right. She does. All the time. Nope. Do not buy that. No. Oh, my God. Come on. They're clearly lying. Now I'm getting upset. Yeah, again. look. The Shining Twins are having a ball. There he is, waiting for her again. Uh, that's, the, that, that's the most terrifying she's looked so far. I never, I, I, I would have left it on the table and it gone anyway. No, don't do that. She's gonna fire What's me. I don't know. She's not happy. Andrea. <laughs> oh God, that sounded like a horror movie, didn't it? it does yeah. Hello, Clarice. Yeah. <laughs> Love your suit. <laughs> We have all the published Harry Potter books. Twins want to know what happens next. You want the unpublished manuscript? Well, we know everyone in publishing. It shouldn't be a problem, should it? She's messing with her. No. She's giving her an impossible <laughs> task so she can yell at her. Yeah. I need J.K. Rowling on the phone right now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give me the next Game of Thrones book that has not yet been written. Was <laughs> it Logan Lucky? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Do I yoke up? Yeah. It just haven't written it yet. <laughs> Smith Walensky doesn't open until 11.30. How am I going to get the steak? She's giving her job she can't do and mess with her. I said, call the restaurant and be like, yo. Yeah. Miranda Priestley, it's very important. Yes, I, I know. It's I'm right, right? She's totally just giving her things she can't do so that she yeah. can yell at her, right? Oh, about, yeah. about being in her house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm Harry Potter manuscript. Oh, it looks so freaking good. <laughs> it looks amazing. That's a huge steak. There's no way she's gonna eat all of it. Yeah. Me? <laughs> yeah, I could destroy that. Ten yeah. minutes tops. Yeah. Harry Potter manuscript? Oh, you're kidding. Oh. Uh, sorry to ask. This is Plan B. This might be Plan C. Yeah. Am I fired? I rarely say this to people who aren't me, but you have got to calm down. <laughs> oh. And if you don't have that Harry Potter book by then. Don't even bother coming back. That's dumb. I failed. She's gonna fire me anyway. I might as well beat her to the punch. No. No. Good for you. Congratulations. You're free. Uh, yeah, well, listen, I'll call you later. Okay. The book's gonna show up at the, at the office, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Monuments should be erected in my honor. You didn't. Oh, yes. Friend of a friend does the cover art, and she happens to have the manuscript. That's insane. Yeah. Like, you want this thing, you better hurry. Make sure yeah. the St. Regis. Maybe go get the steak out of the it. sink. You know what? Even even if you still quit, I would do it just to show her that you could. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like middle finger up. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Here you go. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> Hope it's a good book, right? Yeah. 
read the ending. By the just way, to, yeah, just this is what happens. Yeah, end. just don't let her be right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I wonder which Harry Potter book it is. By the way, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One copy. What are my twins going to do with that? Are oh, you? effing kidding me! And had them covered, reset, and bound so that they wouldn't look like manuscripts. This is an extra copy to have on file. You know, just in case. Good for her. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, you look foolish. I would be still looking smug too. Uh -uh. That's yeah, yeah. <laughs> she wanted to fire her so badly. She's turn around and be like, <laughs> "Thank you." See. Make sure Miranda gets these as soon as possible. And tell her that I switched. Just notice his sweater is like half color. Excuse me. Can we adjust the attitude? I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, join the club. And that's what happens when you start doing well at work, darling. I mean, really? Yeah. That's like the thesis of the movie right there. Yes, but she'd rather do a summer cover because she has a movie coming no. out. Summer Hayek. <laughs> it's so funny. They're all first names. And the more raw, rough human background would oh, create no, this she's wonderful sick. tension with... No. Which... <coughs> with... Nobody wants that at work. Right. Does anybody else have anything I can possibly use? Antibacterial wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Need to get to Magnolia Bakery before it closes. It's Nate's birthday tonight. So we're uh, what having a little party. She's gonna get going to be going to the, this party in the place, isn't she? Yeah. She's gonna miss her boyfriend's birthday. Yikes! That'd be a little. That's my that's my guess. Oh, for sure. Thought that only the first assistant went to the benefit. Only when the first assistant hasn't decided to become an incubus of viral plague. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. She's got a bail on her boyfriend's birthday. He is not going to take that well. No. We'll be a little bummed. I would too. I would like to think that I'm more understanding, but so much it's time like, is by. Yeah, I'd just be like, you owe me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Will that fit me? Oh, yeah. A little Crisco and some fishing line, and we're in business. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at this. He's amazing. He can rock a bald head like no yeah, one else can. Yeah. Tucci's like, he's a very stylish guy. He is a stylish guy. His TikTok is a lot of fun, too. Is it? Cooking recipes, cocktails. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got a show, doesn't he? Like a TV show, yeah, like a travel so, show or something? Might be his Instagram, I'm thinking. I'm not his, not his TikTok, but it's yeah. really entertaining. I've, I've, yeah. I think he had, like, a show show. Yeah. It has, yeah. I, I, I think it came from that. Oh, really? Like, during COVID, he was doing this thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Of course. I planned my whole year. Uh -huh. Wait, was she the girlfriend in the Deadpool movies? That's what she reminds me of. I don't, I don't think so, but... Oh, um... I mean, oh she'd have God. to be like I just, I just 50 or 60 now. What? Oh, it's 2007. It's 20 years ago. I know, but Deadpool 18. was 2016. So 10 years after that. I, I think this woman's older. It's Ambassador Franklin, and that's the woman that he left his wife for, Rebecca. <laughs> Good job. Ambassador? Miranda. Good save. Thank you. It's okay to like your job. Yeah. Even if your boss is terrible, it's okay to like your job. Wow. If it weren't for the stupid boyfriend, I'd have to whisk you away right here and now. She might be single soon. Yeah. I hope we don't go that route where she ditches the boyfriend for the hot oh, water. I, I don't think she's going to ditch the boyfriend. I think the boyfriend's going to ditch her. Yeah. For working too much. I think you have a talent, Andy. He should meet you. Why don't you come in just for one drink? Uh... Okay, yeah, I guess I could for one. I guess you're already late, so. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have to go. All right. Give my best to the boyfriend. Hey, this really hot writer guy says happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Man, I'm so sorry. I kept trying to leave, but there was a lot going on, and. He's also like 30. Yeah. Like, dude, dude, dude <laughs> your birthday is. After 21, it's like, whatever. That's what I'm saying. Like, you can have fun on your birthday. Right. Right. Not yeah, no, no. Yeah. I, I mean, I still go out and have dinner on my birthday, but it's not like, you know, you've ruined my entire special day. I'm not raging like this. Right, right, right. You look really pretty. He's not a bad guy, but come on, man. You know why she wasn't... It wasn't like yeah. she had a choice. But now, she was blowing him off. If it's like a big thing they're planning, like we're in a big party, but it might have been. We're going out to a nice restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it was, because her sure. friends were there. Yeah. That's different. That, that, right. That's understandable. No, it is. But it's also not her fault. No. It's not her fault. <laughs> it's not like she had a choice in it. I have to quit this job because it's my boyfriend's <laughs> meeting. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it sounds toxic when you say it that way. Yeah. My boyfriend says I have to quit. <laughs> He's a cook. Uh, yeah. <laughs> makes a bomb grilled cheese. 
Paris is the most important week of my entire year. She's definitely going to Paris, right? Big time. That no longer includes Emily. Aww. Why? Because she was sick? Emily would die. Her whole life is about Paris. She hasn't eaten in weeks. I, I can't. I mean, you have to go. The cost, right? I would go talk to Emily. Or, uh, Emily? Emily? No. Well, Emily wants to or Yeah. Emily? Yeah, because we're not Emily either, is it? No, yeah. I was just blanking, blanking out. But I'm just going to talk to her like, this is happening. I'm sorry. I did not have a choice. Yeah. Do you know how she is? You of all people you know, know how she, she is, is, right? The boyfriend's going to be mad about that one, too. But it's an opportunity, too. She even said she's gonna, she'd be there talking to the most important writers and, you know, all kinds of stuff that for, for her own future. Yeah, she's already got a good in. Yeah. With the, the mentalist character there. Because, I mean, like, he's, like, my editor wants to meet you. Yeah. I would pursue that at this point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Start doing the motions of, of getting out of this job and into a different career. And it's a great resume builder. I yeah. mean, I understand there's a huge personal cost with it. There always is when you start chasing your passion. But yeah. you would just hope that people in life would be understanding about what she's doing. You know? Of course. Of course. Oh. So Emily's on the outs. Don't forget to tell Emily. Oh, oh, come on. I would take her out for lunch. Of course, you don't have time to do it, right? This is so gracious, but thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I'm so freaking sorry. Do you want to hit me? <laughs> yeah. Well, That's, good, because I, I got so much to do before I go. I swear to God. I'm... Oh, no. I hate to be that guy. You have to go tell her in the hospital? Well, I hate to be that guy, but it looks like Paris is not an issue now. <laughs> God. You know, you're the one who said that you don't really person. care about this stuff. And you don't really care about fashion. You just want to be a journalist. Uh, uh, it's the clothes that you're going to get. I mean, you don't deserve them. You eat carbs, for Christ's sake. As she eats carbs, yeah. So unfair. She'll get over it. Just You did the right thing by coming and telling her in person, not on the phone. Yeah. Emily, I, I said go. Let her stew on it. Yeah. She deserves it to be mad and to be able to process it. Yeah. Yeah. Her, yeah, she realized it there. Yeah. Oh, of course he's there. I was wondering if he was going to be there. He's just everywhere. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be too busy working. Not to find someone else's life to change. <laughs> Good answer. Just hit. I'm beginning to wonder if I can. Whoa, forward. Is her boyfriend there? Shh, shh. Tell him. Yeah. Yeah. For the last 16 years, I've known everything about that Andy, but this person, I don't get her. That's fair. Have fun in Paris. You going to Paris? You didn't tell him? I, I thought a phone Paris call. is a big deal for Emily. Or... Okay, now you're gonna give me a hard time too. Okay, he didn't do anything wrong there. You're mad because I work late all the time and because I missed your birthday party, and I'm sorry. Oh, come on, what what am I for? <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, good. You used to say this was just a job. You used to make fun of the runway girls. What happened? Now now you've become one of them. Uh, I see where he's coming from, you know, I really do. He's building up, yeah. Maybe this trip is coming at a good time. Maybe we should take a break. Stanley Tucci did say when the opportunity came, that's when the life was really blowing up. Ooh, talk about bad timing. Could not be worse. The person whose calls you always take, that's the relationship you're in. I hope that's... you two are very happy together. But I don't feel like she's become a bad person in any way, you know? So I, I feel like a lot of this guilt that's being well, leveled on her is a bad fair. Person. Yeah. Fair. Well, it would be fun to have been on this second unit yeah. filming all this. I would love it. I'm going to go do what? I got to get the helicopter from <laughs> yeah. Paris? Yeah, sick. I don't know who the director of photography is, but he knows how to do a montage. Florian Ballhouse is what it said. I wonder if he's related to Michael Ballhouse. Michael Ballhaus, famous cinematographer. Mm -hmm. He shot Raging Bull, Taxi Driver. Yeah. No, no, no. That was Michael Chapman. He shot Goodfellas oh. and The Departed. Still owe me for Harry Potter. Uh, oh, do I? Of course you do. Are you working tonight? This guy comes on too strong for my taste. At first, I thought it was fine. Now right. I'm a little is, weirded out by it. I it's feel like he's gross. coming on strong. Yeah, like, I'll help you with this. I'll help you break in. <laughs> also, 
What are you doing later? <laughs> you owe me. Yeah, yeah, gross. Yeah, it's kind of a gross thing to say. I owe you a high five. <laughs> yeah, good Chris. <laughs> yeah. By all means, move at a glacial pace. You know how that thrills me. <laughs> yeah. Is she just avoiding her life right now? I think so. So I don't need to fetch Stephen from the airport tomorrow. Well, if you speak to him and he decides to rethink the divorce, then yes. Oh, oh see, no. there it is. Yeah. yeah. See what she can do to minimize the press. On all this. Say something human to her. Another divorce. Splashed across page six. Just imagine what they're gonna write about me. They called uh, Kathy Bates the dragon lady in misery. <laughs> another disappointment. Another letdown. Another father. Figure. <laughs> say say something. An actual human moment. Yeah. Is there anything else I can do? Your job. That's who she is. Yeah. Now we have to start questioning as to who I want to be down the road, you know, yeah. career obsessed and struggling personally. The one that a million girls wanted. I got months ago. I'm not talking about you. Oh, he got a promotion. I can't imagine runway without you. I know. <laughs> I'm so excited, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be able to call the shots in my own life. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she's tough, but if Miranda were a man, no one would notice anything about her except how great she is. That is 100% fair, yeah. You, my friend, are crossing over to the dark side. Your boyfriend yeah. said the same thing. Yeah. Bad behavior is bad behavior, but right. at the same time, she has a great point. Yeah. Miranda will be devastated. Her whole life is about runway. He can't do that to her. It's done. Irv's going to tell Miranda after the party for James. I don't know what telling her is going to do, though. It's, it sounds like it's done. Well... I mean, I guess you don't want to be blindsided. She's giving her, she's giving her a heads yeah, up. Heads up, yeah. yeah. It's courteous. Do not disturb me. Yeah. But, mm, um, just, no, I need to touch it right now. I would. Okay. Yeah. I tried. Uh, yeah, you did what you could do. I, I specifically told if them that. I see Frisians anywhere, I will be very disappointed. This has gotten weird. Is the finest possible guardian of that beacon. Setting a standard that inspires people across the globe. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. Because now, now, and that child looked like her. Look I, I could be wrong. She just looked older the first time I saw her. Yeah, it might have just been like a hair thing, like a hairstyle choice. Yeah. Okay, Marina Beckerin looks like her. I mean, <laughs> she was in Greenland. I've not seen that. She was on the men's list as well, which is funny. Right. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I feel like it'd pop up right away. Yeah, it's a big... Yeah, it's not her. Yeah. yeah. We all have doppelgangers out there, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Runway and James Holt share many things in common. Chief among them, a commitment to excellence. Who's got something up her sleeve, right? Unless she knows? Right. She, she had to know. And it's my great happiness today to announce to you all that that person... It's going to be her, isn't it? She took the job away from him. And long time esteemed colleague. Okay, no, never mind. Whew, I thought she was taking it. Oh. Oh, no. That still sucks. Oh, that sucks for Tucci. It was a move to save her own skin. It was. So and now you see the, Okay. Yeah. And now she's a monster. <laughs> okay, now I'm back on board with uh, Meryl Streep as a monster. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Shannon. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, stay positive, I guess. She did save her own skin. She saved her own skin and, and sacrificed Stanley Tucci for the. I think she might have some redemption. I don't know. I, maybe I'm just being an optimist know. here, but, but like. I've... This might have been a moment to remind me that she's a monster. Yeah, because we still have. It's, I guess it's almost over, but I... be time. I've known what was happening for quite some time. Took me a little while to find a suitable alternative. I'm looking up what I've seen her in, that's it. I'm going with an actual Devil Wars Prada. So she's been in some movies, I know for a fact. The truth is, there is no one that can do what I do, including her. Iron Man 3. James <laughs> <laughs> Smith. I already guessed that. <laughs> but I really. I see a great deal of myself in you. Oh, yeah, that's not what she wants what to hear. I would want to hear that either. They need, and you can choose for yourself. That's not a good trait. No. No, that, that was different. I didn't have a choice. Oh, no, you chose. You chose to get ahead. You don't want that slice. 
It's not going to, but imagine if the movie ended right there. <laughs> That'd be right. crazy. You'd be like, oh, it's the darkest movie of all time. <laughs> she just sacrifices herself onto the altar of work. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she's much is more... She just, is she walking away now? Maybe. But Meryl, the way she undersells everything is great. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah, she just left her. It's going to the fountain. Yeah, it's going to the fountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beautiful fountain. Oh, say the same thing. Like, don't litter in the fountain. <laughs> yeah. New York really is a lovely city. It's beautiful, man. Yeah, but they're in Paris. Well, th- that last oh, Okay, sorry. Place. Sorry. But you're right. They're both, yeah, they're both, they're both beautiful places. I've never been to Paris. I wanted to say that you were right about everything. Turns out he is. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do without those late night grilled cheeses. Pretty sure they have bread in Boston. May even have your Augsburg. So come with him to Boston. We might be able to figure something out. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't have a job. She wasn't working in the industry she wants. I say move to Boston yeah, and try to get a job. Yeah. I have a job interview today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. That's what you're wearing? Yeah, I like this. Well, is she going to Boston or not? <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. Saying that of all the assistants she's ever had, you were by far her biggest disappointment. And if I don't hire you, I am an idiot. <laughs> okay. Okay, so she got, yeah. Yeah. I guess both of those things can be true, right? Yeah. I'm disappointed in you for leaving, <laughs> but you're a good employee. Yeah. She was a good employee. She was. She was great. I have all these clothes from Paris, and I don't have any place to wear them, so I was wondering if you could take them off my hands. Say yes. Well, I don't know. It's a huge <laughs> imposition. <laughs> and I'll have to get them taken in. I mean, they'll drown me. They'll drown me. I suppose I could help you out. I will have Roy pick them up this afternoon. Thanks, Emma. I appreciate it. That was a really good movie. Yeah, that was great. I, uh, never, I can't believe I'd never seen that. That was, that was good. Yeah, I mean, I knew I was going to like it because, like I said, I'd never had anybody tell me they didn't like the movie. Yeah, honestly, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever... Yeah, I've never had anybody say it's a bad movie. Right. Or they not even they just even like it. Anyone's ever I've heard talking about it said so they love it. Would I call it an Oscar movie? I don't know, but like it was that was enjoyable. I uh, yeah, it was yeah. Well the Oscars they nominate all kinds of movies that you're just like, oh, that was good. Yeah, it wasn't formulaic. You know, you usually you know a little it was a little, but, I, but not 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 overly, not like, overly yeah. I expected there to be more of a romantic comedy angle to it that wasn't there, yeah, which I, I really I was really glad of. I think that's what I thought it was. Right. You know? I didn't think it was like a I mean, it's a workplace, like like obviously. a weighty workplace. Movie, sure, you know what I mean, because it is kind of weighty. You know, mm-hmm. there's there's you know a lot about like sacrifice and, and right, yeah, no, consequences it, it, of like job versus personal life. With a with a name like the Devil Wears Prada, it had a lot more going on for it than you would expect. Yeah. Also, I don't. I'm assuming she was wearing Prada. I don't know what Prada looks like. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, they, they were wearing everything. Yeah. So I guess um, that's, that's funny. Yeah. Um, no, I really like the moment. Um, where she was laughing at the clothes. Sure. And Meryl Streep goes on that rant about how what, what you're wearing is just watered down version of what we're doing right now. Yeah. You don't even understand how one it's complex. You know what? There's a lot of planning and thought in history that actually goes into this. Yeah. And all you're doing is wearing the, the, the trickle down of, of the hard work that we do that you're laughing That was a at. great scene. It was a great scene. It, 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 was, it, it kind of made me feel a little... I showed my ignorance anyways. Well, yeah, I, I don't like, know anything about fashion. I don't know a thing. <laughs> no, like I said, I don't even know if they were right proud of the movie. Like, obviously, they probably were. But like, sure. the, the point is, yes, you're right. It, and it's like it's like that for any job, right? Any any high, high stakes like restaurant, movies, fashion... It could be whatever, anything, right? You know yeah. what I mean? There's always these high levels to it that like inform everything else that trickles down. Absolutely. And I get it. You know, like maybe in a workplace like uh, serving tables, you don't need to have a boss that, that that works like that, that acts like that, right? But at the highest level, you're they're not going to coddle you and like tell you good job all the time because they demand excellence. Sure. You know, and like as wrong or right as it is, I understand that. Yeah, I mean it's high levels. If you if you don't want to be there, if you can't be there, you're not going to be there. People like work their whole lives for that. Right. And and I think that's the big thing. It doesn't matter what the industry is. Yeah. The 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 it, it, the more you sacrifice for your job, the more the other things are going to suffer. Sure. Right? It's it's about the 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 inability to find balance. And Miranda did not have balance. It no. made her great at her job. It made her successful. That's I get why she's mean, happiness. right? Um, because, you know, right. It's like coaching, you sure. know. 
there are really good coaches in sports that are monsters to their to the players, yeah. but they do it because you know I demand yeah. excellence, right? Yeah, the, all, all the little things you want me to say good job about, I'm not going to say good job. That's okay about. I'm going to push you to be better, yeah. and that's kind of what she was doing, right? That the meeting where she sat down with everybody and said, "What you're doing sucks. What you're doing sucks. Do better. Do better. Do better." It, in the end, yeah, it's terrible and it's monstrous, and I couldn't work in a place like that. No. But it does make the people that are doing the work they're they're going to come back stronger the next sure. time with what they give it's you. It's like how far do you want to go? Right. You yeah. I mean, like, there's, I mean, it is. There's right. different like tiers to this. Sure. To all industries, really. Right. And it's like how far do you want to go? You want to go to the top? You want to be the middle? Where, where do you yeah, want to sure. be? Where is your comfort level, and what are you okay with? Right. Yeah. yeah. No. I, it, th- yeah. Thematically, there was a lot going on that I yeah. really did appreciate, and I really liked that Meryl Streep. Like, I I kind of assumed it was going to be like a big performance because like everyone talks about Meryl in this movie sure it was very subdued yeah everybody in the movie was understated it was yeah. it was it was done very really like, over the top i thought it would be yeah you know i thought this would be like oh we have a big mean boss and you know the the the, the, the new the, the plucky new girl yeah. and it wasn't at all it was it was all very understated you know realistic characters sure even the 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 d bag guy with the great hair yeah. um great. the mentalist the yeah. mentalist even the mentalist who i really need to figure out what his name is i don't know but, but the <laughs> Baby, it's done. That crack, yeah, the baby, it's done. Like, up. like that was nails on a chalkboard for me before she even <laughs> sure said, like, oh, no, no. Baby. baby, it's done. It's like, so whoa, good. whoa, you, you went from having all the right things to say before yeah. that to baby, it's done. Uh, it cracked me up. Yikes. I was like, you want to talk about the mask kind of coming off on him right there. I was like, oh, oh yeah. you're just sleazy. Yeah, big time. Um, um, okay, so I took it back. The only thing I knew about this movie, really, besides what I said earlier before we started the movie, was um, in the office when Michael's like, steak, where's my steak? Michael, I don't remember that. He makes a joke because he watched The Devil Wears Prada. Oh, okay. So he's in his office yelling for steak. Oh, I don't So I assumed there was going to be a line in the studio where she's like, steak. Oh, okay. But it, it didn't happen. Um, but yeah, I, I really I, I really enjoyed that. I, yeah, that, that was, it was a good time. The and, scene where she talked about her divorce as well. Yeah, God. That was so can. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're the first people to ever say Meryl Streep is getting something. <laughs> right. Hot take. Meryl Streep's a good actor. <laughs> yeah. Somebody should give her an Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I, I thought it was a fun movie. Definitely yeah. a great soundtrack. I don't know if her and her boyfriend are going to get back together. I don't think so. It doesn't seem that I, way. It, it's, it seemed like they were heading different directions, right? Yeah. Um, he's like, I have, you know, maybe, like, I'm going to move to Boston. I'm going to stay here, obviously. Uh, I can make you a grilled cheese in Boston. Okay, maybe that means they stay friends. Maybe it's, I, I just felt like it meant Come it's, visit me. And we right, can, it's, yeah. it's open-ended. Um, sure. may, maybe sure. they get back together. Maybe they don't, but they're not pushing it either way. They weren't. They didn't shut the door, and they didn't say, like, we can work this out. I like that. That's the answer. Yeah, it's that we're back together. It's it's we all both have our own careers. Right, we have our we're lives here now. Right, we can start over as as you know, uh, people who care about and respect each other and see where it goes. Yeah. Um, the only resolved thing we didn't get was her and her other friend at the, at the art gallery when she was like, "I don't know you." Yeah. She's like, "I don't know you anymore." Yeah, I assume they're not friends anymore. Yeah, it, 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 did, it didn't really feel like that door was left open. It was a bad look. Again, it was also like way down the list of, of concerns for the sure, movie. sure, sure, sure. I mean. This could That's be like movie. The, the F storyline. <laughs> like, okay. Could they make a sequel to this? Because I know they've been talking about. But also, talk honestly, about I'm surprised they didn't make a sequel. That's what I'm saying. Because make it makes so much everything. money. Right. Everything it, gets a sequel. If a movie makes money, you're going to find a way to make a sequel. I don't know. So I know it's based on a book, like we said at the beginning. I don't know if there's more books in the series. Sure. I have no idea. I'll, I'll, I didn't I'll, even know it's based on a book. So I'll do a deep dive later right. and see if they're planning something because I guarantee you in another 10. Seven, eight years down the road, I would not be surprised. Like Devil War, Devil War, the Devil Wears Prada sequel coming out soon. Yeah, right. Because everything sequels, nothing is sacred. Right. There's going to be a legacy sequel at some point here. <laughs> I mean, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has been a while. I guess almost twenty years. Yeah. All right, guys. We will catch you on the next film. Thanks for being here. See ya.